Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Hydrix. Now I will be showcasing a brand new game mode on Hydrix today. For that, of course, I need to create a brand new account. So let me just go through this real quick. And I need to choose another name. So there we go. Once you actually manage to log in, you can actually go ahead, just skip through the tutorial, and then you can pick the dual Iron Man mode. Now this is the basically the regular Iron Man mode, but you do get a partner for life. So um, yeah, let's just free. Um, you can also type noobs own 55 to actually get yourself two free mystery boxes once this video goes live. At the moment of me making this video, this code does not exist. But once the video is live, um, you can actually use this code to get yourself two free mystery boxes at the beginning of creating your account. Now also you can uh, you can actually um, get your two mystery boxes after you create the account by typing refer. Uh, noobs own 55 if I am correct uh, without typing the spaces of course alright so I really quickly made my second account noobs own 4 now of course it's way better if you actually just do this with a friend but anyways if you have created your account you can actually request partner with one um, other do Iron Man now you can only do this once so definitely make sure that the person you are actually um, asking to be your partner is someone you will be playing with all along so you can just type accept uh, partner afterwards and then you will have accepted at this side now you need to do this for both accounts so you need to do this back now I need to accept partner right here and now we are actually partners if you can if you type my partner you can actually see that um, my Iron Man duo partner is noobs and four which is this account now what this basically means is that we have the same restrictions as regular Iron Man but with that difference we can actually trade over one account so we have like one partner that we can trade with which means that one person can actually go ahead start gathering resources while the other trains his stats once that is done you can actually switch it so the other person goes uh, goes on and trains his stats while uh, the other person is gathering resources that way by the time you both get maxed accounts you also have a lot of resources to go pvming so you can actually progress a lot faster by combining your work and actually dividing dividing your work into um two separate occasions so yeah that's actually a really nice method to do so i just want to like play for one hour on two accounts train up one account gather resources on the second account and see how far we can get in just one hour of time of course do keep in mind that we are on normal xp mode which is still 70 times more than the xp mode you get on the regular runescape but um it's not like super insanely fast but this will give me some ex uh, enhanced xp rates now before we actually get any further into this video, I just want to announce real quick that I will also be hosting a 40,000 donated tokens giveaway. Now all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed. Also turn on the notifications to um, get notifications of when I upload a new video. Also make sure you like the video and just comment your in-game name down below and I'll be picking the winner in about two days after the release of this video. Now the only thing I noticed is that I have a little bit of an issue. Now to actually make this video, I made a few accounts before I actually started this video which means that I couldn't actually get a starter set on these accounts so I basically have no starter gear at all normally you get like a custom sword and a armor set but I, I guess I'll have to start from scratch on both of my accounts which doesn't like it's a setback but it's not like an insane setback now of course like every beginning player the best place to actually go ahead and train up my combat stats is at the training area now um, I didn't mention this earlier on but I do not uh, I did actually mention that I didn't have any combat gear so I have to start right here of course to get combat gear I need cash so that's why I'm killing these as well but these can also drop noob keys I got lucky enough to actually got get one on my first kill so I got 50k cash from that now these drop the noob key or the starter key at a rare or uncommon common rate so um, yeah hopefully we can get quite a few of those while training up my stats so I can get myself some armor upgrades meanwhile I'll be doing some AFK fishing and food gathering on my other account another thing is that as Iron Man you only have access to the Iron Man store and the Iron Man 2 store and as you can see there isn't a lot of stuff that you can actually get from these so that's uh, quite annoying of course you do have the runes which are pretty nice because uh, yeah that's that's good for Iron Man you also have like the dark light that you can buy and stuff but besides that you don't really have a lot of stuff that you can actually do I can, I can try to sell oh yeah you can't sell as Iron Man you can only out so um, yeah that's another downside of this but 
you still have like the the challenging part which is the fun part of course that's why you actually create iron man all right so i'll just be trading over a few shrimps to my uh, other account because i'm running low on hp but as you can see I, i'm making quite good progress training up the fishing and the cooking already got over 40 in each also on my other account i'm actually getting up there with combat stats so yeah that is pretty nice also getting a few uh, drops here for the pvm gear let me just uh, eat up real quick so i can get myself that iron helm so i look a bit better got a bit more defense also getting my prayer levels up with the bones that the uh, noobs of zemrak are dropping but um yeah that's just a little update i'm going to continue grinding out some of these uh, noobs of zemrak hope to get my pvm stats even better and actually go to do some uh, more difficult pvm than just killing these noobs of zamra all right so i got myself two pvm keys level one so i'll be opening up these at the home area so um yeah if you check the rewards you can actually get some good rewards from these but i don't think these rewards are actually from the level one keys but anyways let's have a look here uh what we can get so uh yeah normally the pvm key should give me oh i actually got a dragon full helm a rune plate body a rune full Wow, okay, we actually got better stuff than I expected. I did not expect to get a dragon full helm from that as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. No, oh, okay, never mind. The, the reward I actually got was a uh, mithril plate likes and a uh, bronze plate body. Well, I guess the mithril plate likes is a, an upgrade from <laughs> from what I had. So, um, yeah, that's not too bad, I suppose. Nah, nah, no, no way, this just happened. No way, this... Dude... We literally just got a freaking cooking pad at level 64 just to make this video. Oh my god, so many people are going to be pissed off about this. Nah, mate. We just got a freaking cooking pad on my Noobs M4 account. God damn, that's, that's some luck, man. That's actually some YouTuber RNG. Okay, so unfortunately my one hour of playtime is actually over, so I didn't get that much done. Of course, I only played for one hour, so you can like expect a crazy amount of progress. But as you can see on my gathering account, I actually got up to 77 fishing and actually uh, 80 cooking because it's only like 3000 XP away, which is one fish basically. But I did get like super lucky and get this uh, cooking pet, which is like, insane because there are people that actually go past 200 mil xp trying to get this pet and i got it like at level 60 something which is totally insane anyways right here on my um, actual pvm account i was actually doing slayer at the end of the progress after i left the training zone so my combat stats don't look too good of course i didn't have the starter outfit i also didn't have like a good weapon or stuff that i uh, could get from one of the boxes that i had to open i did manage to get myself a rune full helm though which is pretty nice but yeah, basically all the stats have been trained up with the Dark Light. So I managed to get up to 60 base um, attack uh, melee stats. Uh, so like attack strength and defense. Also got like 62 HP, which isn't too bad, I suppose. I did manage to make quite a lot of cash. As you can see, I got over 500k just in my bank alone. Um, also, I got 230k cash in my uh, money pouch. So yeah, that's uh, like 800k, in 860k total from there. Uh, I did manage to stack up quite a lot of lobsters right here, so 127 lobsters, which would be really nice for PVMing. But I hope you guys do see the point of actually the, this duo Iron Man mode. Of course, it's a lot more fun when you actually play together with a friend instead of making two accounts yourself. Because it is quite um, concentration intensive because you need to focus on two accounts at once and you can't just AFK. Well, I did AFK most of the part fishing on this account, but you can't like AFK uh, on both accounts at the same time because you always have to keep on uh, working on progress. But um, yeah, besides that, if you are playing with a friend, you can like chill over Discord and stuff. So yeah, that is super nice. So definitely worth actually playing together with a friend on this duo Iron Man mode. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys did find this video a bit helpful. Also, I, I hope you guys did find it entertaining uh, of me just talking about what the Iron Man mode actually includes and uh, just making a little bit of progress in one hour. Of course, it was still the standard XP mode, so you can actually get faster XP and gain faster levels and stuff. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.